Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. Let's talk about the absolute value. The absolute value of a number is just the distance from that number to zero. Or mathematically, we say it's the magnitude of that number. But let me show you what I mean. Here, we have negative six. I want to take the absolute value. These bars around it are just the symbols to let us know that's the absolute value of negative six. And if I look on a number line to see how far away is negative six from zero, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six spots from zero. So the absolute value of negative six is six. It's six units from zero. What about the absolute value of six? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six spots, also from zero. So both of these are six units away from zero. So the absolute value of both of those numbers is equal to six. If you think about it, distances, the distance to zero is always a positive number. You don't tell someone, I'm gonna drive 30 minutes to the closest town and then I'm gonna drive a negative 30 miles back. You, that, you know, is silly. Instead, we say we're gonna drive 30 miles there and 30 miles back. And that's because distances are positive numbers. So let's do a few more examples. What's the absolute value of 134? Well, how far away is 134 from zero? It's 134 units plus What's the absolute value of negative 15? Well, how far away is negative 15 from zero? It's 15 units. So we add those two together and we get 149. Here, we have the absolute value of 134 minus 15. This time, the 134 minus 15 is inside that absolute value sign. The absolute value sign works as a grouping symbol. And in order of operations, we have to take care of whatever's inside our grouping symbol first. So we're gonna do this subtraction first. So 134 minus 15, what brings us down to 124 minus another five is 119. And we still need to know the absolute value of that. Well, the absolute value of 119, how far away is 119 from zero? It's 119 units. So notice that we do what's inside that absolute value symbol first. Here, again, we're gonna do what's inside that absolute value. We're gonna take this operation of an absolute value first. What is the absolute value of six? Well, we saw earlier that that was equal to six. But then we have a negative one times that value. So it's a negative one times six, which equals negative six. Here, we're gonna take the absolute value of the negative six first. Well, negative six is six units from zero. And then we have a negative one times that six, which makes it a negative six. One last example, again, inside my grouping symbol first. So I have negative five times three gives me a negative 15. And how far away is negative 15 from zero? It's 15 units. So the absolute value of negative five times three is just equal to positive 15. So absolute value is just the distance from zero. Math makes simple. It's some math. Thanks for watching.